My name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. This is Simpler Using Machine Learning Algorithms in R. And we are now moving our way into Chapter 7, Unit 7, whatever you would like to call it. And we're taking a look at quadratic discriminant analysis in this particular chapter. So, just like before, our, our unit is divided into four lessons, but it's a slight twist. The first two lessons are similar to other chapters in the book, or in the, in the class, excuse me, where I will provide you with an overview of quadratic discriminant analysis in this particular video. Then I will move over into data preparation. Not a whole lot to do there. Just you know, look at a few descriptive visualizations, if you will. And then finally, in lessons three and four, what's going to be slightly different is that we are going to use the same data, but we're going to do we're going to compare models. So we're going to first run the data using linear discriminant analysis. We'll do the model, uh, model development, and the test set. But I want to caution that we're making two different models here, one using LDA, one using quadratic discriminant analysis. And you only want to use your test set once. So I want you to try to pretend, if you will, that it's not so much the test set this time as it's the validation set. Because if you keep reusing your test set over and over again, your algorithm begins to learn the test set and you start to have problems with variance and bias or whatever it is that will become a problem as it begins to memorize the characteristics of the test set. You don't want that. So uh, please keep that in mind. I'll keep reminding you about that as we go through the different videos. So in lesson 7.3, we will use LDA on our data set um, in this particular video. We're going to be trying to predict uh, gender based on what math classes people took and their, their, math, their, their math SAT score and, and all those things like that. And then in lesson 7.4, we'll use, um, oh, there's a typo there. We'll, we'll be using model testing and we'll be we'll using, basically we'll be using a quadratic discriminant analysis for the same data set, but this time, like I just mentioned, with quadratic discriminant analysis. So having said that, I just want to give you a, a brief idea of the difference between linear discriminant analysis and quadratic discriminant analysis. It's not that shocking, but there are times when you might want to approach it from this angle when you're trying to work with data rather than using just a regular linear discriminant analysis. So the primary difference is that with quadratic discriminant analysis, you are allowing each category inside the dependent variable to have its own variance. If you're familiar with t-tests, you know that there are two types of t-tests. One that is assuming equal variances between the, the groups and one that is not assuming, or that is assuming unequal variance between the groups. And so this is kind of the, uh, the mathematical idea behind quadratic discriminant analysis in that when you are using this particular algorithm, you are telling it that, hey, you know, the variances between the, within the, or between the groups is, is, or for the groups is not the same. That's kind of what's happening. And now there's a whole lot that is happening mathematical behind, mathematically behind the scenes, but that is not the purpose of these videos. We're focusing on you learning to apply the mechanics and use the mechanics of R to actually do things with data sets and to make predictions and whatnot. But that's the main difference. Now, in terms of the similarities, again, <clears throat> you want to make sure that there's some sort of a clear separation between the two groups. I'm, I'm sorry, that's, yeah, I'm, I'm correct. Between the two groups that you're trying to predict for, if it's only two groups. Uh, if there's not a clear separation, uh, quadratic discriminant analysis will struggle just like linear discriminant analysis does. And we saw that in the prior chapter. So that's the main thing. So now in the next video, we're going to quickly go through our data preparation and we'll pretty much be ready to start developing our, our models for this chapter. So in this particular video, all we did was just kind of get an overview of what to expect when dealing with quadratic discriminant analysis. It's um, a relative of linear discriminant analysis. And the primary difference has, has to do with how it handles and, and deals with the variances of the different groups. With LDA, you are assuming that the variances are the same for the group. With QDA, you are not. That's the main takeaway from this particular video. So also keep in mind that we're going to be making models using LDA, models using QDA, and we'll be doing the visualization as such. So I want to thank you for watching. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. This is Simpler Using Machine Learning Algorithms in R. Thank you.